Hi, I'm Jim Wright, and on behalf of my co-host Dave Myers, Pastor Dave Myers, and uh, our another co-host for this trip, uh, Pastor Jim Martin, we'd like to invite you to join us on this 14-day uh, trip to the Holy Land and to Egypt and to Jordan. Uh, I, I'm just telling you, this is kind of a sales video, and we're going to be trying to talk you into not only going on this trip, uh, the last video we put out encouraged you to go on this trip, but this one we want you to go with us. And I'm just brace yourself. This is a little bit of a sales pitch, but uh, I think as long as you understand that up front, you'll be fine. Uh, in any case, we think that it would be good for you to go with us on this trip in January of 2024. Uh, it will be a blessing to you, something you'll remember for the rest of your life. And let me tell you why. First of all, uh, you'll be going with uh, the three of us as, uh, as guides. Uh, you know, Dave and I have never been to Egypt, and so this is why we're really happy to have Jim Martin with us as well. He has been, and uh, we're looking forward to his insights and input when it comes to Egypt, as well as uh, the rest, because he's been these other places. We're also going to have, uh, a, a, we know of uh, at least two other pastors that are going to be uh, traveling with us, and we're looking forward to their input and insight as well. Uh, and, and so, um, you know, we, we think that simply the, the group that you'll be going with will be a benefit. Um, and, and I don't mean to sound like I'm tooting my own horn, but this is a sales pitch. Myra and I are missionaries, and our job is furlough replacement. Uh, and by the time we go on this trip, we will have gone on uh, 24 different replacements all around the world. Uh, we've currently been to, what, 68 different countries, and, uh, and so travel is nothing new to us. And we're going to be creating these videos uh, before we go so that you will be prepared, that hopefully you won't be too ser terribly surprised by some of the things of travel and culture that you, you run into, so that you'll be able to travel like a boss. Uh, and uh, so hopefully we'll be preparing you for that. Uh, but not only the group that you'll be going with, also um, the, the group that's uh, going to be doing all the arrangements is Pilgrim Tours. Now, Pilgrim Tours has been in existence since, since 1987. They are the primary, the, uh, the main group of religious tourism, uh, and they do these tours all the time. Uh, this is the third time that uh, Dave and I have traveled with them, and the reason we're going back to them is because they've always done a great job for us. What they put together is a Cadillac trip, uh, and, uh, and so you're going to enjoy it because Pilgrim Tours is putting it together. Not only do they have all of that experience, but also, and this is from their website, so let me just read it here. Pilgrim Tours has the appropriate insurance, financial reserves, trade association affiliation, and client accountability. They are members of the reputable U.S. trade organization, NTA, or USTOA. No idea what those are, but they're a part of them. <laughs> uh, and then also, they have a 24-hour emergency contact phone number. We've never used that. We've never had to use that, and that's a good thing. But it's there in case we need it. Uh, they have their own group air department, and we control the ticketing. In other words, uh, they are the ones that set up our flights for us. This is important, and it is good to have a good flight schedule. And uh, not only are they going to be setting it up uh, with us, but they're going to be contacting me before they nail it down because there are some airlines that you want to fly on, some airlines you don't want to fly on. And, you know, we have found through bitter experience that some of them are, are as they say in Hungary, nemio, uh, not good. In any case, uh, so we're going to not only be looking at the airlines, but we're going to be looking at the flight schedule. And this is important. There's a thing called jet lag, and we'll deal with this in another video. But uh, we want to try and minimize that. The schedule of uh, when we take off, when we land, the layover length, all of that is important. And so we're going to be uh, making sure that our flight schedule is a good one. Um, and, uh, and they control that, and we are going to be uh, advisors on that. Uh, and then also their foreign tour operators 
Uh, foreign tour operators, now if you, you know, line up a tour with a group in Israel, they don't have as much accountability because they're not U.S. based. They are not subject to the laws that U.S. based travel agencies are. Uh, and so uh, this is a good thing. But uh, also, because they do so many tours and because they are the gorilla in the room, then all of these hotels and tour operators and bus drivers and all of the people that we'll be de dealing with in Israel are accountable to them in a way that they could really lose their shirt if they cross Pilgrim. And, uh, and so they don't. Uh, it is a good thing. Um, and so, uh, you know, this is going to be a, a, a big help to be traveling with, you know, the big agency. Um, also, uh, you know, Dave and I, this is our third tour with them, and uh, they look at us as repeat customers, and they're going to be treating us well. And so this would be another good reason to travel with us. Another reason to, to travel with us is because of context. Uh, now, we dealt with this in the first video, but let me broaden that context. You're going to be traveling with uh, pastors, missionaries. Uh, you're going to be traveling with people who know the Word of God, and they're going to be providing a lot of context. Uh, the, uh, the Jewish guides, the Egyptian guides, the uh, Lebanese guides. Uh, by the way, we've always had great guides with Pilgrim, uh, and I uh, really appreciated these people and the insight that they have given us on these tours. Um, they are going to provide us with a lot of context as well. And so you're going to be able to understand the Word of God so much better because of the context that this trip provides for you. Um, and then also uh, another reason to go on this trip is because this includes two things that most trips do not include. Uh, it includes Egypt and it includes Jordan and Petra. Now, first of all, Egypt. I've never been there. I'm so excited about it. I've never seen the, the pyramids. Uh, I haven't seen the Sphinx. I haven't seen the Nile. Well, I've flown over the Nile, but I haven't actually been there. Uh, there's going to be a lot in Egypt that I am looking forward to seeing because I've never seen it. Uh, but then also we're going to leave there and we're going to follow the route of the Exodus that Moses and the children of Israel took out of Egypt. And uh, I'm looking forward to that as we travel to those places in the book of Exodus. And then also we're going to be going to Petra. And Petra is an amazing thing. It is probably one of the most photographed uh, and videoed places in the Middle East. And uh, I consider it a, a real highlight of the last tour that we took. Um, and it, it's not just the canyon leading back to the treasury that you see in it, but it's also the, the whole uh, city that was carved into stone back there, and the, the amphitheater and the, the village and all of the things that you're going to see. Uh, Petra is huge. And then also we're going to go up into Lebanon and we're going to, uh, Petra's in Lebanon, but we're going to go up to Amman and spend the night there. And, and uh, there are going to be some really unique things, cultural things that you're going to see there that you'll never forget. Um, and, and those, Egypt and Jordan, are two things that most trips don't uh, include. And that's the reason why this trip is 14 days long. And you say, wow, 14 days, that's a big investment of my time. Yes, it is. And it's going to be worth it. Uh, not only is it a big investment of your time, it's a big investment of your money. And we understand that. And believe you me, we know that 4700 bucks per person is huge. And you might say, you know what, I could do a cruise a whole lot cheaper. Yeah, go ahead, do it. But will it draw you closer to Christ? I don't think so. You could probably do a river cruise in Europe for the same price. Draw you closer to Christ? Probably not. Great sightseeing experience, but this is going to have all of that plus the great advantage of being drawn to Christ. Learn more about the Word. Be able to visualize it as you are reading it. And what a benefit that's going to be to you. So, yes, um, it's expensive. We understand that. But if we tried to make it cheaper, I think we would make it worse. We don't want to make it worse. We want to make it better. And uh, and so, you know, don't worry about the 4700 bucks. you got a year. Put it together. Let's 
let's go if you can. Um, and then also another reason to go is this is going to be the right size trip. Now uh, we've been on uh, on, on trips and you know we've pulled up to a place and we have seen you know six tour buses parked out in front and that people are loading into those and it's it's like cattle call and and terribly impersonal and you don't get to know everybody else on the tour and that's too big. Uh, we've all also seen some tours that were just a little too small because you know the poor tour guides trying to pump energy into everything because there's so few people and and you know when he leads a song and, and you find yourself the only one singing because it's too small. So we're hoping that this is going to hit the sweet spot between too large and too small. We're not going to go to a second tour bus. We've decided we're just going to cap this at 45 people. That way we won't have a full bus, uh, but we will have a small enough group that the uh, you know, we can turn on a dime if we decide we want to stop someplace suddenly and, you know, get a, a falafel there, you know, or, or whatever. We'll be able to do that uh, without radioing another bus. Uh, and then also, you know, we'll have enough people that will have that energy. We'll have enough personalities that nobody's going to take over. And yet at the same time, sometimes those personalities can be a lot of fun on a tour like this as we get to know one another. So it's going to be the right size and hopefully we'll hit the sweet spot between too large and too small. But then there's other places where we need to find balance. And uh, this is where the experience that Dave and I have uh, will be huge. And uh, on the first trip, we had a guide who was, go, 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 we're going to see every Catholic church, and we're going to see every mosaic, and we're going to go, go, go. And we were, you know, we'd get to the motel late at night, and, and, and finally we had to sit him down and just say, no, we don't need to see every mosaic in the Holy Land, <laughs> you know, and we don't need to go there. And when we kind of took over the, the scheduling a little bit more, and by the way, they let us do that because they're building it to benefit us. And, and so there's a balance between seeing and experiencing. Do you understand the, the difference between the two? Uh, yeah, you, you can be, and, and by the way, we will see the, the Chinese uh, tour groups and they'll jump off the bus and they'll run out, they'll see something, they'll take selfies and they'll run back to the bus and it's comical. <laughs> they see a lot, but how much do they experience? There are going to be times where we're going to say, okay, just everybody, you need to be back on the bus at such and such a time. But just sit down. Experience it. Uh, the time that we are going is perfect. This time, it is not too cold. It is not too hot. And for the, us in the United States, this is going to be the time to go. Uh, and so you'll be able to sit down and you'll be able to uh, experience things. And, you know, one of the things that I love is uh, seeing something and then coming out afterwards and sitting down and just absorbing it. Absorbing not only the atmosphere and the smells and the sights, but then also allowing my mind to go through the things that actually took place there and cementing things in my heart and in my mind for the future. So we're going to try and find the, the balance between seeing and experiencing. We want to see a lot, but we also need to experience all of what we see. And then also finding the, the balance between too little and too much. Uh, and, uh, you know, if, if you see too much, you wind up exhausted at the end of the day. And then the next morning you get up exhausted and then you have to get on the bus and you find that the whole trip you're just exhausted. That's not a good thing. Uh, and, and so there, there needs to be a balance. We want you to see all of the important things. We want you to experience all of the wonderful experiences and, you know, going out on that boat on the, uh, on the Sea of Galilee and just, you know, smelling the, the, uh, the atmosphere and, and looking around and, and putting everything into perspective. That is the experiencing that needs to be a part of it. And on this trip, I think we have the experience that we're going to be able to help you find that balance. And of course, we're going to have the, uh, the guides from the countries that are going to help us. And they're going to protect us. And they are going to keep us safe. And, and, uh, and that's why we think this is probably going to be your best bet. And so sales pitch, yes. Uh, and so let me just tell you, if you can, join us on this 14-day trip of not only the Holy Land, but also Egypt, Jordan, Petra, you'll never be the same. So, are you ready? <laughs>